What's up everyone, it's Kajani with an ocean fishing guide for Final Fantasy XIV. This ocean fishing guide will go over tips and strategies to maximize your score. Before we get started, I want to keep it krill. With the RNG involved with ocean fishing, I can't guarantee high scores. However, with the strategies in this video, we are going to focus on what we can control to put ourselves in the best position to have our scores looking really plump at the end of the voyage. When ocean fishing for points, we're going to be using Lulu's tools to determine a few things. What bait to use to get a spectral current, what fish to target during a spectral, what bait to use if we get Fisher's intuition, and what fish will help us with our voyage missions. Now that we know what we're looking for, we just need to select a route by using this drop down here. You can select between the indigo or the ruby, and then you need to select a time. So to do so, you're just gonna click on the row, and then the information will display down here. After you selected a voyage, we're going to use this drop down here on the right to select the all fish option. The show all fish option is going to display everything that you need to know about this ocean fishing voyage. Up top, you can click on the name of each route to see the fish that you're going to encounter, their, their respective baits to catch them, their tugs or their bites, their cast times, and their point values. The double hook column lets you know the quantity of fish that you'll get if you use the job action double hook, and then in parentheses, it tells you the quantity of fish that you'll get if you use the job action triple hook. If you see a 1 for double hook and a 1 for triple hook, that means that you can't catch multiples of a certain fish. So as you can see, if you use double hook, you're only going to get 1, and if you see triple hook, you're only going to get 1. So it may seem like a lot of information, especially if it's your first time on Lulu's tools, but just remember the four things that I mentioned at the start. So if we need a spectral current, we're going to be using Krill and hopefully we can get a spectral. If you want to get Fisher's Intuition to catch the drunk fish, you need to catch three of these Chovies to get Fisher's Intuition, and then the bait that you'll be using is Krill. You'll know that you've gotten Fisher's Intuition because you'll see a message show across your screen, then you'll see this blue icon with a timer above it. All of the Intuition fish are worth more than 200 points, so it's worth switching to whatever bait that you need to to attempt to catch one. After Intuition fish, we're going to scroll down to take a look at the fish that are worth the most points during a spectral, that way we know what to target. Some of them are very obvious, like the Nimble Dancer, so if a spectral pops on this route, we're going to switch to Ragworm, that way we can target the Nimble Dancer. Sometimes, due to bad fishing RNG, the fish that we really want doesn't appear during a spectral, so it's good to know what our other options are. So for this route, the other good fish that are worth targeting are the Casket Oyster, that's worth 222 points, and then that'll be followed by the Merman's Main, which is worth 94 points. For voyage missions, we can use all this information available to us to target the fish that we need. So let's say that we need sharks, so for Galadian Bay, we can use Plump. For the Southern Strait, um, Southern Strait, there are no sharks on the Southern Strait, which is unfortunate. And for the Rotano Sea, if we need sharks, we can use Plump. Once we get onto the boat, we need to set ourselves up for the eventual spectral current while also keeping an eye on our voyage missions. While waiting for the spectral, we need to start farming stacks of angler's art. Whenever you catch a large sized fish, you will get a stack of angler's art. With Thaliok's favor, you can spend 3 stacks of angler's art to restore 150 GP. You can have a maximum of 10 stacks of Angler's Art, so at 9 stacks, you can restore up to 450 GP. What you'll do is save the stacks of Angler's Art that you collect along the way, so you can spend it on Thaliok's favor during a spectral current. Patience is a great way to farm Angler's Art, and it's generally used at the very beginning of a route. Patience increases the chance of catching a large sized fish, but gives you a debuff to your regular hook actions. To offset this debuff, you will use either Precision Hookset or Powerful Hookset to catch fish. 
there is a big brain strategy that you can use to take advantage of the time between route transitions to farm angler's art or even sneak in a double hook. What happens behind the scenes during these often humorous boat transitions is that your GP is being restored. To take advantage of this with about two or so minutes left, you can use prize catch to get a stack of angler's art or even double hook a fish that counts towards your voyage mission. By the time the cutscenes play and you're on your next route, your GP should be full or at least close enough. Next job action that we'll be using is identical cast. You can use it right after you caught a specific fish to guarantee that you can catch it again during your very next cast. This is very useful during a spectral current or it can help you with mission objectives. I needed two more sharks to complete my last voyage mission and luckily I just caught a shark. Even though I have a little over two minutes left, I won't leave anything to chance so that's why I used identical cast. Just be mindful when you do use identical cast because it does cost 350 GP and in general you want to save all of your GP for a spectral. Speaking of spectrals, let's go step by step of one method that you can use. Here I just caught a floating saucer and as you can see it's worth a lot of points. I'm going to use identical cast and then prize catch. Identical cast is going to guarantee I catch another floating saucer after I cast my line and prize catch is going to ensure that the floating saucer is a large size fish. Catching it as a large size fish is going to do two things. One, it's going to double the point value of the saucer, and two, it's going to give me a stack of angler's art for each saucer that I catch. I will then use triple hook on the saucer, and since it's a large size fish, I will get 7 stacks of angler's art and 3,108 points, which is not bad. So let's start over from the beginning. So I just caught the saucer. Now I'm going to use identical cast to make sure I catch it again. Prize catch to make sure that it's a large size fish. Then I will be using my stacks of Thaliox favor to restore my GP. Ideally you want to restore it above 700 so that way you can use triple hook. But I used all my stacks because I'm going to be getting 7 after I catch the floating saucer. So I got a bite, this is going to be my floating saucer, I'm going to reel it in and reel in all the points and it's such a good feeling to see your point total skyrocket. So what I'm going to do next is called a blind triple hook where you just triple hook and you just hope that you get something good. Besides targeting fish that are worth the most points, keep in mind that there's a bonus added to your final score based on the quantity of fish that you catch during a spectral. So make sure that you double hook or triple hook as often as possible during a spectral so that way you can get these bonuses. So that's all I have for this ocean fishing guide. I have plenty of resources in the description of the video if you want to check those out. If you have any questions, please let me know in the comments of the video. Thanks as always for watching. I will catch y'all in the next one. Until next time, peace.